and everybody knows he's gonna make it, right, especially man. Earl and me. That's my cousin. Who? Can't you see? Cornbread, that's who. He is not. He's a patties. What's it to you, huh? Nothing, Rusty James. Nothing. You're not expecting to find Steve here, are you? Why do you put up with that wimp? I know him since kindergarten, all right? Fine. All right, great. Because I have you set up in your own space by the end of the week. Um, patients' rooms down this way. This is coming. Okay. Let's see. Talking about a standard one-night arrangement, right? I guess. Yeah. Right, so we'll say a dinner, complete sexual encounter, full penetration, optional episode in the morning, right? Yeah. Let me ask you just one question, my brother. <laughs> What? What? When you gonna get this goddamn raggedy car fixed, man? <laughs> now, what's wrong with it, man? I mean, it runs like a stocking, man. And furthermore, you know, you wouldn't believe how many... Where the chicken at, huh? Yo, Black? You need a soda? Huh? With my soda, Black? You know I like soda. What? 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 Over again one of these days, aren't you, Mr. Stokes? Yes, Sergeant. Yes, indeed. Gig for Bryce. Gig for Bryce? Irish pennant. Cut it off. Mother raised me. You had a date. Gene Hackman plays Jed Ward, an attorney who specialises in whistleblower David versus Goliath type cases. His daughter Maggie, played by Mary Elizabeth Master and Tony. value and sell it at a profit. Now what we need to do is we need to keep everything in our neighbourhood, everything, black. Black owned with black money. Just like the Jews, the Italians, the Mexicans, and the Koreans Talking about do. the baby in the road, and, and, and it's all happening too fast. Damn, you got more excuses than you going to jail. You got too many excuses, woman. And this here is about business right here. That, that marquee out there say Ike and Tina Turner. And the people out there waiting on me, and you laying up here talking about you tired. Now, what you going to do? You want to take care of business, or, or you looking for a way out? Want to play? No wonder this nation is falling behind the rest of the world. No one in this class seems to have any initiative. Ah, you brave soul doing Come for a price. Does that give you pause, Mr. Crow? It doesn't matter how good you are, only how bad you can be. Find her, then kill her. If you won't do it, I'll find somebody who will. She's 36. Same case. I knew Robert Earl was bad news first time I ever laid eyes on him. I don't hear any evidence. But we didn't need any. We had a confession. The guy's on death row. I want you to help him get his life back. And how do you, my lady? Well, my good lord. That handkerchief did an Egyptian to my mother give. She was a charmer and could almost read the thoughts of people. Give me the disc. Yes, and help. Give me the disc. Look, he told you we don't have it. You don't have it? Then we got a problem. No, we can't leave. Our orders are specific. Rescue the crew, salvage what's left of the ship. The crew is dead, Doctor. Your ship killed them. We came here to do a job. We're aboarding, Doctor. Jimmy. Give me a few ticks. What's up, huh? Oh, Bombay, come on, don't start anything. It's all right, Francie. Well, what can I do for you, Miss Jensen? Did Mr. Redmond tell you I don't like omelets on my split oh. Driving you mad. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. Do you know what I'm talking about? 
Matrix. Do you want to know? Get this. On Halloween. Happy Halloween, fellas. Sugar tree. Come on, Freddy. Who are they? I don't know anything. I swear to God, please. Drop it. It was my... I thought you were supposed to race before me. You were. Because you're not the only one who likes to make an entrance. What you asked for? CSS reports, ballistics, uh, fingerprint analysis, 911 tape, bunch of stuff. All right, thanks. Yep. We were talking about your father's gun. I told you my father. job you use that language fit in with your friends here you will speak properly or you won't speak at all understood yeah whatever you you can leave now i am sir based upon i'm not on you yet you allowed ferris to board your chopper without a scan that explosive device could have taken you all out there is one reason that you are sitting here before me today and that is luck because your operation two men begin a war. Who are you working for? I work for the bank. You are lying. I'm not lying. Tell us who your friends are. Are you with the movement? The movement is, with is Bobby Z. You pretend to be Z. You really have changed, Bobby. Yeah. What Tedo's got on I'll break your head. You burn the truck, you burn the money, idiot. If I can hear you, they can too. Get everybody together in one place, and we really hope you can be with us. Sure. So, are you ready for yours? I've got mine. No, I think uh, she's going to want to do these together. I know she's spending for some champagne. Hmm. SOS Luke from Colony 5. SOS? If anyone out there can hear this, I repeat our location, our location. A few hours ago, we received a distress signal from Colony 5. I think they're worth checking up on. We need to take care of our own bricks. I can't print this, Lois. You might have hallucinated half of it. What about the civilian contractors who corroborated my story? The Pentagon is denying that there was a ship. Of course they are. That's what they're supposed to do. It's Take the Pentagon. The what was your proximity to? <laughs> it is so easy to find. Always such a nice bit of color against the dark nights. Dark nights. Dark nights. <laughs> Take a good look. You only get one. I don't know you. But you know my employer. But nothing about football. Nothing about uh, friends of the Metropolis Library. Just the goddamn Gotham Bat thing. I told you not to pursue. The police. You saw the hibernation bots. 
I saw. So you know what Jim did? Yeah. Gift from the boogeyman. Perfect for every occasion. But you also gave me a choice. Pull my gun, shoot you in the back, and die. So why you joined the Marines to get away from all that in Oakland? No, I didn't have much else to do, so... You know, I wanted to strengthen my character. It was that way with Larry, too. We wanted to test ourselves. Hank was a terrible partner. Temperamental, stubborn, impatient. Sooner or later, he just pushed everyone away. Just the mediocrities. Janet was the only one who could endure him and chose to stick it out. Watch it, Bill. She paid the price, though, didn't she? Yes. I've here to listen to you two squabble. I'm I don't know your husband, do I? His name is Dylan Burke. Avert your eyes, my sweet. The king is dead. Long live the king. People like you must create. If you don't, you become a menace to society. How would I know? Why should I care? Something unexpected has come up. Just thinking about it's got my heart racing. Please don't bother. thinks you don't stand a chance. No matter what they say, they don't know us. They don't know what we got in here. Hard! Hold on to your hats, folks. This is it. afford the embarrassment of a prosecution. If it's Celia Harrison, I need to know the man I send can do what's necessary. Got her right here in front of me. I can do this clean, but it has to happen now. Great heroes and villains. But what if we've been dropped in the wrong school? You don't understand! I'm supposed to be a princess! Look at me. Do I look like a witch? Or there's been a mistake. Can we I was the black sheep of the family. Man has to look his best when it's time to get married. Or buried. I'm going to need a gun. Goodbye, my friend. It's hard to die.